Longwood University's Global Innovation in Science and Technology project funded by HP STEM Catalyst program created a globally collaborative digital learning landscape. We worked with three schools in Virginia and a school in India and a school in Ghana and we motivated the teachers to integrate inquiry-based and project-based learning in the STEM classrooms by creating projects, digital stories, and games using three software applications, Scratch, Alice, and Kodu. Of the project, we provided each teacher in, in Virginia with three HP mini notebooks and virtual desktop lab, which is a multi-seat desktop lab for each school. In the first phase, the teachers focused on using Scratch mainly because that was the training, first face-to-face -face training was provided using Scratch and they liked Scratch and they used it. As part of this initiative, we wanted to create a global learning community, a global learning community of teachers who would interact with each other and develop their own professional learning community of learning from each other. And we wanted each of them to interact with each other and identify one global problem for which the students will design an engineering solution. And what was your global problem? What we did was world hunger. And what was your design engineer solution? We made a fuel efficient airplane that carries food. Our plane has four different ways of fuel. It has solar panels on the wings and top of the plane's body. It has uh, anti-gravitational air, airflow so it can glide to its destination safely. It has backup solar tanks and back backup fuel tanks. It has manual manual and voice controls in the cockpit. It has it's made of a strong yet light um, a strong yet light material called carbon fiber that um, What's your favorite thing about Atlas? My favorite thing is that you can basically make the characters develop into a um, uh, it's kind of like Scratch. You develop a story which is what I like about it but it's even better than Scratch due to it being in 3D. One of the resources we gave was the HP Science Kit and how did you all use this to introduce STEM concepts to the children? Well we collaboratively between the science class and the math class used um, the temperature probe hooked to the graphing calculator and I used the Virginia um, S Science SOLs of weather and um, using the metric system to read Celsius instead of Fahrenheit we took temperatures during the day and then we pass that data on to the math teacher. And then I had the students take the information and plot it actually on paper. So they took the information from the graphing calculator and then put it down on a piece of paper. Um, and they were working with the Virginia Standards of Learning on coordinate planes and graphing points. As part of innovation grant, which was the second phase, we wanted to motivate the girls to be interested in technology and engineering. So how do we motivate them? So we found out the girls are always interested in uh, fashion design. I'm going to plug it in. Would you go ahead and click upload? Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. Now we just have to hook up the battery source. Do you want to go ahead and hook that up? And we'll see if this thing works. This is positive, right? Yes, ma'am. Do we have lights? I love it. It's really Very cool nice. too because it like it's not like a line of lights, like they look like they're exploding in the lights. We look forward to an opportunity of scaling up of our, our efforts, both through professional development and the engineering design project of the GERS, not only with the three school divisions that we are working with but with school divisions across the globe. We're very pleased to collaborate with the University of Fort Hare in South Africa and provide professional development for them on inquiry-based learning and science, and we will be going there in May to provide this professional development to their educators. And I'm really excited to collaborate and learn from them at their location.